So we have to tell you what's going on in the world of QAnon right now. And yes, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. No, we are not making this up. This is all 100% true. So last night, a large crowd of QAnon believers gathered at AT&T Discovery Plaza in downtown Dallas. So there is this crazy QAnon conspiracy theory that JFK Sr. and JFK Jr. are gonna come back from the dead or they've actually been alive this whole time. I, I, I don't know. But the point is they are gonna show up today in downtown Dallas at the grassy knoll or Noel, as this QAnon supporter so eloquently put it. Yes, the site where JFK Sr. was assassinated. And the purpose, they're gonna go there to apparently anoint Donald Trump the king of America. So this is obviously insane on multiple levels. And let's put aside the fact that this would require them to arise from the dead when JFK Jr. died in a plane crash in 1999 and JFK was assassinated on national TV in a horrifying moment for this country in 1963. Do they not realize that JFK and JFK Jr. were both staunch Democrats, proud Democrats, proud liberals, and they stood against everything that Donald Trump stands for? But who are we kidding here? These are not people who really think much at all. These are also the same people who think that this guy is JFK Jr. No, seriously. This guy, they think he is JFK Jr. So flash forward to today, these QAnon followers have been waiting all day long for the appearance of JFK and JFK Jr. And waiting and waiting. Let's go, Brandon! It is almost Let's go, Brandon! We got a did, did we land on the moon? Any minute now. And apparently, while they didn't see JFK or JFK Jr., a lot of these followers swear that they saw some other dead celebrities today, like Robin Williams and Dale Earnhardt. We saw Dale Earnhardt. Uh, we think we saw uh, Robin Williams. And now realizing that, hey, maybe JFK and JFK Jr. are actually not going to show up here today, they have moved the goalpost once again, and now they are claiming that JFK and JFK Jr. will be showing up at a Rolling Stones concert in Dallas tonight. These are deeply disturbed, deeply troubled people. And this is the base of the Republican Party. And until we're able to live in a country where we live alongside people who share the same reality as us, who live on this planet, we're gonna be in a whole lot of trouble.